might brain. Might be shot, might be trifling. Might survive, be by the. Game two of the Eastern Conference Finals. The Celtics, fighting for their first win of the series, will try to even the score at one to one as they go up against the Bulls. The Eastern Conference Finals continue. Hey everyone, welcome to the 2K Sports broadcast of the Eastern Conference Finals. Game two coming up. I'm Brian Anderson and joining me at the table, Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill. We've also got Allie LaForce bringing us reports. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, B.A. Well, the Celtics obviously one of the more talented teams in the league, but Coach Ime Udoka said, quote, it took some time to embrace being playmakers. He wants them to, quote, avoid playing in a crowd, adding, quote, we can score in a lot of different ways. Brian? Yeah, just doesn't want them to be predictable. Thanks, Allie. Taking a look at the Celtics. Hey, nobody needs to tell them that they need to bounce back after dropping game one. Yeah, you're right. I mean, losing a game one at home piles on a ton of pressure. But they didn't get this close to the NBA Finals just to turn around and go home. They're going to put everything they have into this game, too. And now the opening lineup for Chicago. Williams in power forward with Vucevic at center. Levine and DeRozan, the star-studded wings. And it's Ball in at the point. And for Boston, Tatum and Horford at the forward slot. Smart and Brown, a great defensive backcourt. And it's Williams in at the five, down low. Now here's Smart. Outside Tatum, 4-3. It's rebounded by Levine. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. Williams, a screen on Horford. DeRozan passes to Williams. Ooh, rejected by Horford. The great positioning, the 7-1 wingspan. That combination makes Horford a dangerous shot blocker. Pass to Smart. Here's Brown. Outside Tatum. Four on the clock. Shoots over ball. No good there. And Chicago will go the other way with it. Outside Levine. Back to DeRozan. Now Vucevic. Picked by Vucevic. DeRozan with the ball. Guarded now by Williams. And the power finished by Vucevic. Oh, just a clever play by DeRozan. Using the pick and roll to make space for someone else. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Smart passes to Tatum. Here's Williams. They shoot again. And it's good on the lay-in. Well, it took them five tries, but they showed they could make a basket, I guess. DeRozan against Tatum. Now here's Levine. Tightly guarded. Down low. Williams. No good with a layup. Even though it wasn't a clear pass, he knows that that's a shot he should make more often time to get out. Back to Brown. Nice D from Levine. Had enough room to finish, and that's one he usually made. Vucevic is screen on Smart. DeRozan passes to Vucevic, and the shot goes. Vucevic has gotten his second bucket. There's a reason Vucevic shoots a great percentage. So adept and skilled at scoring inside. For Boston, they've got only one of six so far. Smart for three. Rebound by the Bulls. Well, if you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Williams, a screen on Brown. Levine passes to Williams. He's off on the layup. Austin trailing. Pass to Smart. Horford, a screen on DeRozan. Here's Tatum. And they get it back. Three-pointer. Here's Williams. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. 
First free throw is good. A big group substitution here for Boston. Williams is checked in for Horford. Gallinari comes in for Tatum. Brogdon's checked in for Brown. And it's White in for Smart. So Chicago going with an almost entire new group here. Andre Drummond is checked in for Nikola Vucevic. Green comes in for Williams. Desumu, he's checked in for DeRozan. And it's Caruso in for Ball. Outside Levine. Green with a screen on Gallinari. Outside for Green. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's on Danilo Gallinari. And the first one at the line is good. The Celtics making a switch here. Richards checking in. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Boston's gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Outside Gallinari. Outside White. The kick out to Williams. Boston no good that time either. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Green with a screen on Gallinari. Levine passes to Green. And it's hammered home by Green. Because he draws so much attention on offense, the D, look, they're going to have problems with Levine, and it opens up some great passing lanes for him. Now here's Gallinari. Williams is screened on Green. A nice shot by Gallinari. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just, again, you just dream of them. He will gladly take those. Brockton against Levine. To the inside, Green. Got a hand on it. Now here's White. He's closely guarded. That one doesn't drop. Good work defensively by Drummond. And you'd like to go two for one here, Grant. And at the same time, you want to get a good shot here, B.A. Drummond, the screen on Brogdon. Levine passes to Drummond. And the jam by Drummond. Smart play call by Levine. Breaks up the defense, feeds the easy shooter. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. White on the wing. Outside, Williams. Pass to Pritchard. Fires for three. Rebounded by Green. Caruso up top. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Drummond to screen on Brogdon. And that does it for the first quarter. Bulls out in front. They lead by four. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. from the Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bulls. Chicago leading. On the court for Chicago. And at forward, it's DeRozan and Williams. Ball is out there with Alex Caruso. And it's Vucevic in at the five, roaming the paint. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Here's Tatum, and the layup is good off the glass. Tatum's got his first points of the night. How about the balance from Tatum? Absorbing the contact, it just doesn't matter. He takes it like a champ. And here's Chicago. Vucevic, screen on Tatum. DeRozan passes to Vucevic. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. The defender really went after him. And he drops a first. You love a big man like Vucevic. Puts in the effort to keep improving. For example, look at what he's done with his perimeter shooting. And so Vucevic nails both of them. 
And the Celtics in possession here. Trailing by four. They get the rebound. Williams. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to belong to Nikola Vucevic. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. At the line, Robert Williams. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Williams. And he makes both free throws. Chicago with the ball. DeRozan outside. Tatum with a steal. Takes a 13-footer. Jacks up a three. Hits a three-pointer. Tatum's got five points in the quarter. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards. Fighting hard for every miss. And we played through the first minute here in the second. Pass to DeRozan. Now here's Williams. Horford with the block. They get it back. And here's Caruso. DeRozan right side. Clock at six. The kick out to Williams. Fires the three. Good. And it's DeRozan who picks up the assist. DeRozan's got his third assist of the night. And, De and DeRozan has done an amazing job improving his playmaking skills, including finding his open teammates. Now here's Smart. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Here's Tatum. Good to see it fall for him. Now three for nine. He was inside his own head in that first quarter. You could see it. Now he's doing a much better job of letting the game come to him. DeRozan against Williams. Here's Vucevic. That shot off. And Boston going the other way now. Tatum passes to Smart. Quarter two and about two minutes in. Off the mark from 16 feet. Normally he drains that. Ball with it. Guarded now by Smart. And stolen by Williams. Fires from 14. Brown can't hit. The Bulls have gotten only one of four shots to go in. Caruso finds DeRozan. Vucevic, a screen on Tatum. Back to Caruso. Ball outside. Pass to Williams. Williams with the screen. DeRozan passes to Williams. Yes, it's good. Williams has got five points. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. The Celtics have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Boston calls timeout. Celtics. Substitution here for Boston. Williams has checked in for Williams. Gallinari comes in for Horford. Brogdon's checked in for Tatum. And it's White in for Smart. So Chicago going with an almost entire new group here. Andre Drummond has checked in for Nikola Vucevic. Green comes in for Williams. Levine, he's checked in for DeRozan. And it's Desumu in for Caruso. Now here's Levine. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Going inside. And Levine! Throws it down. A ridiculous athlete. I love when Levine puts it on the deck and goes through the lane like that. 143 left in the half. Pass to Brown. Gallinari with a screen on Levine. Outside to Gallinari. Let's the three fly. Knocks it down from the distance. He's got five. This is that modern big man play. Tall guys who are comfortable draining shots from deep. Levine passes to Drummond. And it's good. Credit Levine with the assist.
Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. And it's Brogdon missing. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. To the paint. Oh, Gallinari with a steal. Fast break. Here come the Celtics. Here's Brown. Here's Brogdon. And it's Chicago with a board. A chance at a two for one. You have to find ways to use the clock to your advantage. Drummond to screen on Brogdon. Levine passes to Drummond. Williams grabs the board. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. It's Brown on the wing. Over Green. And that one's long. The Bulls have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Ball outside. On the wing, Levine. Green with a screen on Brown. Levine passes to Green. Three seconds left. Good D by Ball. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Bulls out in front. They're up by three. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And as we welcome you to halftime, without question, game two has been a battle for the Boston Celtics. Simply need more effort defensively. Sprint, close out to the shooters, box out. I don't know, Kenny, what do you think? Yeah, you can't allow the opponent to hit open shots comfortably. Come on. Looking at how the Celtics are doing in this series, some would look at this game as a must win in the series. What are the keys to getting it done? For me, Ernie, it's all about protecting the ball, treating every possession like it's your last. And defensively, you got to be extra hungry. Chase out every rebound and keep constant pressure on the shooters. Good tips from the experts. Oh, when no one's an expert, Ernie. I am. Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. get you back to the action as game two is getting underway one of the stories here Jason Tatum man is he getting it done today and if he felt any pressure coming into this game he sure hasn't shown it what a sensational start his performance shows no sign of any nerves great job controlling your emotion well Freddie Williams together in the front court Brown and Tatum are the explosive wing pair and it's smart in at the one that's who's in the game for the Celtics now here's Horford well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Brown with it. Guarded now by Ball. Five to shoot. Horford for three. Gets the three to fall. And that ties it up. Proving he's more than just a go-to scorer. Brown also left swinging the ball to open teammates. Levine passes to Williams. And he was
was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. The first one falls. Taking two shots. And that's good as he hits both shots. Austin on offense. Smart up top, hounded by ball. And it's smart missing. Outside Levine. Vucevic, screen on Brown. Levine passes to Vucevic. And Jalen Brown gets a whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Pritchard's checked in for Jalen Brown. Coming on to the floor for the Celtics. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Williams with the screen. Six to shoot. Levine finds DeRozan. Here's Ball. The Bulls need to get off a shot. Here's Levine for three. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Smart. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got his fourth rebound in this one. Levine against Horford. Williams. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. A nice shot by Tatum. This is how confident Tatum is. Knows he can score inside whenever he wants. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Outside Levine. Pick by Vucevic. It's Levine with a drive. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Wing Tatum, defended by DeRozan, and Williams punches it home. They've really picked up the energy level and have willed themselves back into this game. And as tired as they might be after fighting the tie up, they have all the momentum now to finish this comeback. Andre Drummond is checked in for Chicago. Caruso comes in for ball. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. And let's take a look at the players leading the way in assist here in the postseason. Zach Levine, third. I really admire how he seeks out his teammates. His selfless attitude and desire to get his guys going is what makes him such a valuable player. Levine with it. Williams defending. Drummond with the bucket. The all-around game of Levine. An excellent passer for his position. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Pass to Tatum. Horford outside. The free ball sinks it from distance. Horford's got six. And when it comes to the three, they've been really dialed in here in the second half. The Bulls have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. And here is Williams. And outside. Now here's Williams. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Just five on the clock. Drummond the screen on Smart. Levine passes to Drummond. It's stolen by Smart. DeRozan against Tatum. Poke loose. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Williams is checked in for Williams. Gallinari comes in for Horford. Brogdon's checked in for Smart. And it's White in for Pritchard. Green's checked in for Chicago. The Sumu comes in for Levine. Now here's Brogdon. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Outside, Green. Drummond up top. DeRozan against Tatum. DeRozan passes to Drummond. And the jam by Drummond. Showing off some mobility there. When Drummond rolls like this, he's hard to stop in pick and roll. Boston's gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. And the foul on Alex Caruso. That's his first foul. Jalen Brown, he's checked in for Boston. A minute six left in the third. Fires 
fires the three. Sinks the tray. Brown's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Some slippage at the defensive end here in the second half. Allowing the offense to establish more than it. Pass to Caruso. Green with the ball. Drummond with the screen. DeRozan with the ball. Guarded now by Williams. DeRozan passes to Drummond. Brown with some nice D. Boston has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Green against Gallinari. Outside White. Outside Williams. Six on the shot clock. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Fires top of the key. And it's Chicago with the board. Drummond's got four rebounds now. Shot from the low block. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Here's Brown. From deep three-point range. And that's not going to go. Tie game in Boston. And time to step away quickly. But we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. 32. Head coach Billy Donovan is mic'd up along the sidelines. Let's check it out. We got to now start to anchor down defensively right now. Trust each other and trust the loads. It's not just one-on-one -on -one defense. It's together. Ah, a little help from your friends. Billy Donovan preaching it. Are these guys listening? Well, you also have to credit the other team. Obviously, their offensive play calling is having an effect. We'll see what the response is. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. And so in the game for the Bulls, Williams at power forward with Vucevic at center. Nasumu is out there with ball. And it's Levine in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Brogdon. Smart for three. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. Smart's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Levine against Tatum. Picked by Vucevic. Levine passes to Vucevic. Here's to Sumo. Pass to Levine. And here's Vucevic. Pounded by Tatum. Offensive rebound. Levine can't hit. Boston has got six out of 15 three so far in this game. Tatum passes to Brogdon. It's smart on the wing. And here is Williams. Outside Tatum. Pass to Brogdon. Launches a three. Chicago grabs the miss. Vucevic just got his fifth rebound in this one. Williams a screen on Tatum. Levine with it. Now guarded by Brogdon. Williams misses. Boston has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Now here's Brogdon. There's the triple. Drains the triple. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. And the Bulls call time here. At this point in the game, fourth quarter, it's always important to stay focused. And while the coach goes over the plans, these players are getting a much-needed chance to get hydrated with some Gatorade. DeRozan has checked in for DeSumo. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Ali. Hey, guys, Billy Donovan was just reviewing the plan with his team. He encouraged them to get out in transition. He said, quote, that team can be tough to score on when they set up in the half court. Let's push the ball at every opportunity. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Allie. And there's the call on Lonzo Ball. That's foul number two for him. Horford passes to Smart. Shoots over Ball. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. And the whistle blows on a backcourt violation. But over and back. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. 
Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Here's Brogdon. Yes! He nails it! Brogdon's got five points in the quarter. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Wait, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Now here's Smart. Pass to Williams. Smart against Ball. Screen by Horford. Smart for three. The shot no good. And Chicago will go the other way with it. Outside Levine. To the middle. Horford with a steal. Right side Brogdon. They grab their own miss. Williams shot is good. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Celtics. On the wing, Levine. Started by Brogdon. And there's the foul. It's on Zach Levine. That's his first foul. And just turns it over in one of the most irritating ways possible. I mean, what was that? Violations like that? Yeah, those would make your coach bolder than me. And Boston calls time here. They're leading by eight. 156 left in the final quarter. The Celtics making a switch here. Brown's checked in. Drummond's checked in for Chicago. DeRozan against Tatum. Williams, a screen on DeRozan. Tatum passes to Williams. And Williams punches it home. Intelligent play by Tatum. Moving the ball to get an open shot. The Bulls have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Levine against Brown. Drummond, a screen on Brown. Here's Levine for three. And again, no good by Chicago. No need to rush here. Take your time. Take your time. This is where you can reset and try to get a good shot. And there's the foul. It's on Zach Levine. That'll be a second foul of the game. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Outside Tatum. Takes one from ten feet. Ooh, rejected by Drummond. the wing. Levine defended by Brown. Levine passes to Williams. Rebounded by the Celtics. Austin on offense. They've got a 12-2 run in progress. And game two of the conference finals is always so important. What a great win this is for the Celtics. And it seemed like steals ended up making the difference in this game. No question. Their ability to force mistakes and turn them into points gave them an upper hand tonight. Well, they needed this game, too, and they got it. This series is 1-1, and the conference finals are on. And I'm so impressed at how they responded to the game one loss. They made the proper adjustments, they worked hard tonight, and they earned this victory. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Robert Williams. And I love his composure. He didn't try to do too much or force things, but he was ready to take advantage of every opening the defense gave him. And that trip coming up empty, missing both. And for Chicago, they're shooting the ball at 43% from the field. Three-pointer. Levine can't hit. And they're so close to putting this game away. Yeah, B.A., you don't have to do anything crazy. Just run the clock. Don't turn it over. Now here's Smart. Back to Tatum. Takes the three. Williams grabs the board. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Williams, a screen on Tatum. Levine passes to Williams. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That one on Tatum. He drops the first one. And that brings him within single digits. And the second free throw, no good. Tough break there. 
Here's Pritchard. with the W. It might have been just game two of the series, but this one felt like a must win. I just love the fire they played with tonight. It's the playoffs, and they really brought the energy. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Jason, with you guys being such a young team, how do you continue to improve to reach your potential? Uh, we got to watch film. I mean, we did a lot of good things today. There's a lot of things we could have done better. And uh, we just got to be focused, composed, and play with a lot of boys, and uh, we'll be fine. Boys normally comes with experience, but because you're so young, you're finding it early. Congrats. All right, Allie, thank you. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in as we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Robert Williams.